And our president of the Senate, Gotswila Pabio, has declared that recent protests witnessed in some states on the harsh economic situation in the country are sponsored. Pabio made the declaration on Tuesday plenary after the presentation of a report of the Joint Committee on Banking, Finance, and National Planning, Agriculture, and Appropriation, headed by Senator Abdullahi Yahaya. While stressing the need to immediately address this issue of hunger in the country, Apabio revealed that in the last few months, state governments received 30 billion naira each to tackle the current hardship faced by citizens. You can see a lot of sponsored protests here and there, but those people are not aware. They, most, of those, most of those sponsored protests are not aware of the kind of efforts being made by this Senate to tackle the situation together with the joint management team of the federal government of Nigeria. And uh, I must say that unverified report has it that each of the state governments in the last few months have received additional 30 billion from the Federal Inland Revenue Service outside their normal allocations from the Federation account, outside their normal allocations to assist them in ameliorating the food situation. So we believe that every state government should utilize the funds so received towards ensuring that food is available. Meanwhile, in an extensive debate, Senator Adamu Alero argued that some state governors, including some retired ones in the Senate, were beneficiaries of 18 billion naira as shock absorber under the ways and means since 2015. Each state government, each state government in 2023 was given 18 billion naira at once. Some of the governors have benefited from that 18 billion naira are here. I'm sure Governor Lala can confirm that. The Senate president thereafter maintained that owing to the current economic situation, it has become expedient to thoroughly examine the ways and means funds. About 30 trillion ways and means, not what President Tulibu can bring. This Senate will not rubber stamp anything that we feel is not in the interest of Nigerians. Yes. And that is the reason why we are discussing. Am I right or wrong? Yes. Those who are in support of what the Senate President is saying say aye. aye. Those again say nay. So the, the expenses that we don't have details yes. put us in the indebtedness that we have today. Yes. And therefore has affected even the ability of government yes. to provide essential. Uh, needs and services for the public that we need to look into those things exclude the fact that we can still go and investigate what we pass so we are open to investigation and there was a caveat at that time that we're going to investigate we're going to, the details must be provided so we are waiting Anytime the Senate feels that we should go to investigate that, we investigate that. So, to, for one now to say, for what, what happened then was a collective responsibility. And it was done in the interest of the nation and in line with our collaborative you know, stance with the executive of government. For the National Assembly to find out what happened. Mr. President, distinguished colleagues, nobody in this chamber should suggest that we shouldn't look to anything that we feel is in the public interest. But let me say this very clearly. What Nigerians want today is food. What Nigerians want today is food and security. This belongs to the medium term or long term action that we need to take. Hello. Hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.